In the given circuit, parameter K is positive and power dissipated in 2 ohm resistor is equal to 12.5 watts, the value of K is. So we are required to calculate the value of parameter K in this network. And when you focus on this particular node, you will find three branches are connected at this node. Current in this branch is equal to K times V0. Current in this branch is equal to 5 amperes. And let's say current in this branch is equal to I. Now when we apply KCL at this node, we will have I plus K times V0 equal to 5. I we can write as V0 divided by 2. So we have V0 divided by 2 plus K times V0 equal to 5. We can take V0 common from the two terms and therefore we will have V0 inside the bracket 1 divided by 2 plus K equal to 5 or we can write K is equal to 5 divided by V0 minus 1 by 2. Let's call this equation number 1. We want to calculate the value of parameter K and we can have K if we know the value of V0. So now we want to calculate V0 and to calculate V0 we will use the information that power dissipated in 2 ohm resistor is equal to 12.5 watts. The power dissipated in the 2 ohm resistor is equal to 12.5 watts and we know the power dissipated is equal to the square of the voltage across the resistor which is V0 divided by the resistance which is 2. So V0 square divided by 2 will be equal to 12.5 or we can write V0 square will be equal to 25 or we can say V0 is equal to 5 volts. Now we know V0 and we will put the value of V0 in equation number 1. So we have K equal to 5 divided by 5 minus 1 by 2. From here we will have K equal to 1 minus 1 by 2. So finally we have K equal to 1 by 2 or we can say k is equal to 0 0.5 so the value of k is 0 0.5 so this is all for the problem and now we will move on to our homework problem i have taken this homework problem from gate 2016 e paper and in this problem you are required to find out the current supplied by the battery in ampere and you can see that there is one battery here and you need to find the current supplied by this battery that is I1. So find out the value of I1 and once you have your answer post it in comment section and now I will end this lecture here see you in the next one.